Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW 1 Series, guys, pretty much any generation BMW 1 Series, guys, and you have problem with knock sensors or you're trying to figure out, okay, how do you guys test knock sensors? Stay with us and we'll explain everything from start to finish today, guys. Make sure you stay until the end. We're going to share very helpful information. Now, doesn't matter if you guys have four cylinder, six cylinder gasoline, diesel engine, testing the knock sensors will be the same for all the engines. Now, practically it's the same for every BMW. Uh, quick introduction to the channel, guys. Okay, uh, if you need help with anything, leave a comment below. That's why we're making this video. It's a respond to a video request, guys. Another thing, Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information to you. Now, let me explain guys, okay, what we have here. This is a six cylinder uh, gasoline engine, but again, doesn't matter which engine you have. Another thing now guys, okay. If you need to buy any of the tools that we'll be using, new knock sensors or parts tools, we we'll guys have uh, the links shared in the description of the video below for your convenience. Uh, the knock sensors guys on BMWs, most of them, okay, will have two knock sensors, okay. Four and six cylinder engines, most of them will have two knock sensors. Certain models may have one, but uh, most of them will have two sensors. Those sensors, they're mounted to the engine block, bar, guys, upper engine block, like here and here. What it detects, it detects early, the, uh, early explosions in the combustion chamber. That means that the spark plug, okay, was, uh, was ignited a little bit early, and as a result, it creates that knock. The engine will not be running good, and that sensor, it's kind of like the earphones guys okay for the engine computer it's going to listen for that knock in the form of vibration because when it knocks it creates vibration on the engine block and it will tell okay we need to fix that so we need to uh, we need to adjust the ignition timing so we can fix that very important component now if you wonder can you drive with a bad sensor knock sensors uh, we have guys the video on the channel that explains all that and i'll try to put the link in the description of the video below uh, the two sensors come uh, come as one package guys they come to one connector both of them one wire one pair of wires is for one sensor the other one is for the other sensor so each of the sensor has two wires inside you get the leads and you contact the wires now this is the voltmeter guys this is amazing too if you're on the market for a good tool i'll definitely recommend it go to voltage Okay, go to voltage, select DC, voltage DC. Now, what I'm going to do, okay, uh, the sensor, we have the wires touched. If you tap that sensor with a metal tool, you're going to see the voltage going up in millivolts. Check it out now. Okay, 40, watch now. 20, let's try again. 70, 90. So it listens for vibrations, guys, and you can see that changes. So definitely, guys, a good sensor right there. If it's not a good sensor, it's not going to change. So definitely, that takes care of our problem. Now, hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure out if you have a good or bad sensor. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you guys next time.